Breath of the Righteous. Hey, bro. Hey. All right. Let's see. What do we do? Unleashed Dragon. Oh, yeah. I guess we can go. We can head off there. Yo, you're going to find out there's dragons or no dragon? Or summon a dragon? No, I just got to go over to... And find missing No, I gotta take a long rest, get rid of the two levels of corruption I got. Whoa. Then wander through the rest of the map. I'm gonna go to the Dragon Burial Ground. That's kinda it. As far as plans, anyway. If nothing else happens, then I'll assume that I'm good to go for the Ivory Sanctum. Move on with the act and go straight to the next part of the game. And the other one's very long. So it gets all the... the the companion stuff together and the uh, places you want to be in the army. Yeah, I intend to. Before. Wrong game. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It, it is no, now. It will always be the wrong game. It's not the wrong game. It's here. That tape is here. It's not here now. It's not in this game. Yes, it is. Okay. Me, no. <laughs> when you're correct, when you're, you say this become correct, you become demon. Well, I'm so not going for a demon thing. So does some of the the uh, livestock that comes around the area. They also become poor. Alright. Now, moving on. There's not really a whole lot I individually have to do here, so I'm just going to go straight to... I could either talk to Captain Wodon, because I didn't do that yet. Okay. Yeah, it's not like anybody's logged in to see anything, so. Let's actually finally do the, like, what I've been staving off and procrastinating from doing. Real work. Delegating your freaking fortress so that you would stand and take your time. Oh, yeah, that. I was <laughs> going to talk about, like... Just talking to NPCs. Oh, fuck! I wasn't going to build... I'm just going to talk to people and still... Yeah, people... Yeah, the important NPCs I haven't talked to yet. Woo! See what yeah. see what they have to say. We need more people to help them. <laughs> Battles await. I know that's right. Sell this extra junk I don't need. And then Ultimate Wrath. Chaotic evil assess. Just curve my rat. He's a legend. Alright, let's see. Sell this. I'll probably turn him into a devil or demon. Probably. Glaze more. And never look again. With how he works? Who knows? Okay. Now, here we go. 
George Linda Stranglehold. Commander, the middle-aged dwarf salutes you casually. Her face is disfigured by huge scarred claw marks. One of her eyes is covered by a black patch, but the other is looking at you sternly and intently. George Linda Stranglehold, at your service. What's your role in my army? I'm the chief quartermaster in charge of material support. Mm. I make sure our brave soldiers are armed, armored, and fed when they go into battle. Or at least two out of three are. You know how it goes. Dorslinda chuckles. I'm also the head of the logistics council. If we're missing something, I'll report it to you right away. What does the logistics council do? It supplies. What else? As you lead your troops in those legendary battles, we solve various non-heroic issues, like what our fighters are going to eat tomorrow, how to fix a chainmail shortage, and how to get our hands on a shipment of helmets we purchased that's stuck somewhere in Ustalov. Those are the headaches we deal with. Sometimes, however, we're faced with something that can't just ha that we can't just hash out without you. That's when we have to assemble the council and ask for your decision. But Torag willing, that won't happen too often. We've got your supplies covered. So you go ahead and be heroic to your heart's content. You always want that to be higher than anything else. All right. What became of the quartermaster who was taking care of the supplies during the march on Dresden? Nothing, really. He got a medal for his heroism during the assault on Dresden. And now he's right back where he was, keeping up the good work. It's just that a fortress like Dresden is a little out of his league. When you need to supply the camp during a march, he's your man. But it takes a different set of skills to be a chief quartermaster. What's with that nickname, Stranglehold? Our resident jokesters came up with it when my hand went numb around, went numb from the wound. She holds up her crooked fingers, withered to the bone. After that, I left the front lines for the for the supply service. And then I showed every wisecracker that one hand is all you need to keep your supplies in order. My grip really is a stranglehold, you see. <laughs> all those thieving quartermasters who go out of their way to sell some ammunition on the sly. Scatterbrained officers who lose half a caravan in every skirmish. Civilian milksops who always have a sob story to explain why they can't give anything to the army. They all learned why people call old Dor Dorslinda Stranglehold. We have spells available that could restore your hand. Spend it on some poor sap whose legs got ripped off in the first battle. Thank you for your concern, Commander. But while we're at war, resources should be spent sent where they're needed. I'm handling the logistics just fine with one hand. All right, I have to go. Good luck on the front lines. We've always got your back. That's our job. I'm glad I finally took the time to talk to her. <laughs> Resources. Let's see, I talked to. Okay, I didn't talk to Lady Konomi, but she kind of hates me. <laughs> So you don't agree with her? I've disagreed with her on multiple occasions. So you didn't even agree with one? No, I agree with the one that gives me the sorcerers. Yeah, she's a god of magic. And giving her people a chance. Alright, Captain Odon. Captain Odon gives you a polite nod. What can I do for you, Commander? Captain, what's your role in my army? I'm responsible for drills, organizing e exercises, and briefing the officers on the str strategies you approve. 
Furthermore, I have the honor of serving as your as the chair of your military council. Remind me about the responsibilities of the military council. The military council determines the strategy for our troops, enacts army reforms, approves new equipment standards, and makes decisions on all issues regarding military action on the front lines. You've had encounters with Koramzada before, haven't you? Only in the halls of the mind. Back when I was a young lieutenant dreaming of the title of crusade commander, and who, among, and who among us hasn't dreamed of being in your shoes, commander, at least for a little while? I knew I would one day meet him on the battlefield. I'm sure there are more powerful demons in the world, Wound. Just had to check something. Alright, I knew I wouldn't have to meet more powerful demons in the world, Wound. But, this is, but in this war, where entire armies fight for victory rather than individual warriors, he is Mendev's greatest enemy. I'd studied countless reports on battle, battles against him, played out countless of his historic battles in my head, trying to spot his mistakes. I did spot a few, or so I hoped, but I never had the chance to put it, in, put it to the test. I moved up in rank, knowing that the day when we would come face to face was drawing ever closer. The most important day of my life. I could feel that was com that was coming very close. Well, I could feel that was very close. Tell me about your military career. My family has lived in Mendev for generations. Simple but prosperous folk. Even as a child, I was interested in the study of warfare, and I always knew I'd end up joining the ranks of professional soldiers. After serving for three years as a cadet in the capital, I went to Last Wall, where I graduated from the Crusader War College with honors. Then I returned to Mendev. For 25 years, I fought many battles as part of a various border units, or as part of various border units. As a result of my service, I was distinguished by command with a promotion to the rank of captain and a subsequent transfer to headquarters. Captain Odon falters, and his expression darkens. He remains silent for a while, then shakes his head and continues. Now that I didn't have to do drills, I had the time to focus on studying tactics and strategy. My fellow officers called my desk the archive, because it was always covered with manuscripts and military treaties. Alas, I, I never did become a commander, even though it was my childhood dream. But I was able to become a competent enough officer to be serving directly under your authority. I hope you'll find my knowledge useful. I get the feeling you've had your share of pain on the front lines. Captain Odon presses his lips together. No more than the soldiers from my squad. My last battle was at v Villareth Ford's outpost, north of Canabras. The demons. They brought flames down upon us. I had never seen anything like it. Walls of fire spewing out fireballs. Three hundred soldiers turned into screaming, burning meat. And believe it or not, in the light of that cursed flame, the battlefield was dark as a cave. The smoke was so thick you couldn't see any further away from your own hand. We held that day, but the price was high. I paid mine as well. It took a miracle for the clerics to pull me out from pull me out of my melted armor. And it took me four years before I could remain calm near fire. Any fire, even candlelight. 
I thought they'd write me off as a psychologically broken, but instead I was promoted. Apparently, in that inferno, we managed to deflect a terrible blow and protect Canabras from the attack of a superior force. Apparently, we were heroes, as unyielding as a rock. I didn't know that at the time. We were just fighting, burning, and fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah! You fought hard! Now, I no, have you... to go. Oh, I'm always at your service, Commander. <laughs> Yo, Damn. You're in hell. Yo, it's still burning, but fighting. Don't give up! That's yeah. fucked up. <laughs> Just die. Yo. Fighting in melted yeah. armor. Yo. Oh, fuck. And I just happened to live. Did we get him? Yo. <laughs> Hoorah. Yo. Fuck yeah. All right. Fight, Lady Konomi. Lady Konomi is engrossed in reading some kind of letter. Upon noticing you, she frowns nervously for a moment, but then greets you with a graceful bow. Commander, how may I be of service to you? What is your role in my army? Oh, don't get me wrong, Commander, but I'm not your soldier. I serve Her Majesty Queen Galfrey. She sent me to head the diplomatic council of the crusade and consult with you on particularly sensitive matters. What's the diplomatic council, and what? Do, why do I need it? To solve matters of politics, of course. The crusade is more than just battles and sieges. It is the largest military project in all of Avistan, funded by the treasuries of more than a dozen major powers. And each of one of those powers, in addition to seeking victory over the demons, also pursues its own goals. The Diplomatic Council will manage this tangle of political interests and prevent the Crusade from losing the favor of influential benefactors, and while we're at it, ensure that Nerosian remains satisfied with the state of affairs. After all, for the last hundred years, the entirety of Mendevian politics has resolved around the Crusades in some shape or form. That is why the capital has sent me here to observe, offer suggestions, and keep the diplomatic situation under control. Tell me more about the Royal Council. What is it? The Royal Council, operating under Her Majesty, is the highest governing body in Mendev, and comprises her most able and trusted servants. It is responsible for day-to-day -day matters of state. They are the hands that the, and the voice of the queen. They are. Oh, they are here. Played Witcher 3? Remember the fight against Imlareth? Where he, he, where he, his head got cooked inside the helmet? I have not played Witcher 3. But that sounds pretty damn bad. It's not like, so how, how's that work? Is it like getting your head stuck in a microwave or what? No. God damn. All right. Insane. Moving on. You don't need to control it. All right. The council has gathered people from all walks of life. Some of them are nobles, but many more are citizens of humble origins who earn their positions through their wit. Many are rich, but a fair number of them are of more humble means. Some are pious and pure of heart, like Lord Inquisitor Kasori and Captain Jasper of the Crusader Heralds. Others are more flexible and ambitious, but each of them faithfully serves Mendev's cause. Now, as you mentioned, you know, I don't have anything I'm planning on playing after I'm done with King after I'm done with Pathfinder Kingmaker and Wrath of the Righteous. Maybe I will go off and start playing the Witcher series. I'd have to not complain about spoilers at all though. It's pretty old. You have not played Witcher 3? Why do you even live? Just kidding. Damn. 
but do it when you have the chance. Most of my free time I spend, uh, well, I decided game. to stream. Game of the year edition. I mean, the game's been sold for incredibly cheap nowadays, so, like, sure. And I don't know, like, I'll start with Witcher 1 and move through the series. Yeah. How hard can it be? Hard. It'll be long, but difficult? I don't, oh. I don't know. Yeah, because the game can change. Depending on how you play it. You would right. like to play it again, because you want to get the rest. What, what didn't I choose? Well, yeah, there is that. There's a lot of that with the Pathfinder games right now. All right, tell me about yourself, Lady Konomi. Lady Konomi lowers her eyes in a show of modesty. It's unbecoming of a diplomat to talk about themselves at length, but how am I to refuse you? I come from Tianxia, from the noble Kitsune. In all the games. Like any Kitsune, I have always been curious to a fault. And my adventures brought me to Avistan. And here in your lands, I met my first and true love, politics. I've served as a diplomat in the courts of six different sovereigns. For, but working for Her Majesty turned out to be the most interesting of all. Such riveting webs of intrigues and interests are, spur, are spun around the crusade and the world wound. What are you reading? That is a state secret, but for you, I can offer a hint. Every single day, I receive dozens of classified diplomatic missives from all countries supporting the crusade. Okay. I have a question regarding diplomacy. I am happy to oblige. I'm always willing to talk about my craft. What's the current situation in Mendev? Things, things aren't terrible. For a nation that has been at war with a demonic invasion force for a century, the people are wary of taxes, the army continues to pay tributes in blood, and many noble families are dying out, which breeds inheritance disputes. However, the crown stands strong, and its authority remains high. The nobles are ready to follow Her Majesty's orders, and the royal council comprising the closet and most trusted servants of the queen governs the nation sensibly and astutely. Why are you so fascinated by politics? Is this something all Kitsune share? Not at all. However, we Kitsune are predators, and our hunting spirit is strong. But unfortunately, chasing rabbits in the fields is rather boring, vulgar, and unfashionable. Politics is a hunt of a more dignified sort, refined and captivating. Whenever I pick up a, the quill to write a letter of protest, oh, I feel like I'm ready to go for my praise throat. So invigorating. <laughs> it works. <laughs> hmm. All right. I'm not comfortable with the Royal Council imposing its will on me. Please don't paint the situation in such a bleak light, Commander. The, ro the Royal Council does not seek to hinder you. It merely suggests the most sensible course of action. The members of the Royal Council have been serving Her Majesty for many years and have proven their wisdom. While your attention is focused on the war, they think about Mendev's future. Listen to their words, and there will be peace between you. You don't look like a soldier, and you're different from my other advisors. You're right, I'm not a soldier. Warfare has always been too... bloody for my taste. I prefer the intricate tapestries of politics. Proposal, story. Proposals with double and triple agendas. Clashes of ideologies and long-term strategizing. But they say that war is merely a con continuation of politics, which is why my duties have brought me to your headquarters. All right, I have no more questions. It has been a pleasure to satisfy your curiosity, Commander. K Chiliax. Who is with Chiliax? I don't know. Uh, Kitsune are a rare sight in Minda. Lady no Konomi shrugs. I'm a child of a passionate and curious people. We live everywhere, 
You are just not always aware of our existence. You are not the first to have taken an interest in my race. Your companion, Ninio, has already interrogated me. A most amusing individual. Truly, we Kitsune are incapable of normalcy. We find our passion and surrender to it entirely, mind and soul. Although in Ninio's case, I fear that the mind was lost along with common sense. I have to go. Good day to you. <laughs> I have no I have no recourse. Aren't you gonna stick up for it? No. Nini is a lost cause. <laughs> Damn. She really is. She's lost her thing to science. She blinded me with science. No. Stop. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What have we got here? I can. Yeah. Sure. Does she even got the bronze spell? <laughs> yeah, she's an illusionist. So yeah, she her natural ability is to blind. All right. Let's see. Just more scrolls of ma ma magic missile. Begin resting. Let's play hide and seek. Wait, what am I saying? You'll just find me right away. You want to learn to hunt, is that it? Alright, I'll hide. I will try to remember that it is a game and not a real ambush. Way to go, Windowock. See, ev everybody likes Ember. Or she changed her appearance too. Alright. Hold on. Nero says, uh, Infernal Chiliax remains one of the most powerful nations militarily in the inner sea region. Its control of the Ark of Arodin, wherever that is, the passage between the inner sea and the Arcadian Ocean, uh, also gives it a vital role in much of the region's trade. Nevertheless, as important as the nation may be today, it pales in comparison to its former imperial glories. Today, in the eyes of most external observers in other parts of the inner sea, Chiliac suffers from extreme diabolism. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hell no. Go. Oh, who do we have here? Anivia. Let's see. Several teenagers dressed in rags stand before you. Their dirty look their dirty clothes make it clear that they have traveled far to get here. A skeptical Anivia leads the procession. Looky who we have here. They've come all the way from Mendev. It's a miracle they didn't end up in a demon's maw. I'd give them all a thick ear and send them home, but I guess I felt sorry for the poor kids. They were so eager to meet, to see you. Clenna, eager as anything we were, says a slender girl with short hair. We've heard so much about you. How brave and kind you are. How you help everyone, defeat the demons, and always follow your heart no matter what anybody says. <laughs> We want to fight demons just like you do. Damn. We want to be free crusaders. Free! 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 <laughs> Alright, you didn't. You didn't ask for your parents for, for permission, did you? We don't have parents, says a pale-faced young gnome. We're orphans, all of us. Clinna's mother was a priestess in a crusader party and died. The cultists killed my parents. We all got stories like that. Hmm. Clinna and me grew up in a young crusader. Clinna and me grew up in an orphanage at the temple, temple of Abadar in Nerosian. There was nothing good in that place for us. Only rules and routines. The only priestess who liked us even a little bit was Nar Narada. The rest just barked orders at us and doled out punishments. Mm. We've left nothing good behind. Put it that way. 
Early sunset, don't you have anything to say? <laughs> Dealing with teenagers is hardly my domain. <laughs> yeah. But I'll offer my opinion. Half measures won't do in this situation. You'll need to spell things out in black and white if they're, if they're to understand at all. Okay. All right. all right. Lawful. I can't put these young souls in harm's way, Anivia. Please ensure they are safely escorted back to Mendad. That's if I was lawful. Right. The chaotic option. If you're following the call of your heart, I cannot clip your wings. I will allow you to join me, and I will knight you as free crusaders. Ooh. And the good aligned choice. I suppose you could become free squires and help Aranka, Ilks, and Wallflower in my court. Ooh, that'd be even better. One day it will be your turn to battle evil, yeah. but I hope we win this war before long that. before that day comes. Yeah, that. Yeah, okay. At least that'll be more fun than cleric training, mothers the gnome. Suddenly his frown is replaced with a wide grin. But I've heard about all the wonders of your court. Is it true that you have a little dragon and a magic garden? Some we'll be we'll be able to help the free crusaders and live there. Yeah. And defend ourselves if the demons attack. Yes, let's go, guys. I'll make sure they get there in one piece, grumbles Anivia. I've no idea how this is going to play out. Those helpers of yours on the ridge are still pretty much teenagers themselves. Then again... They've been so lucky so far. <laughs> Desna herself must be watching over him. Lewis, just in case, I'll send off a letter to this orphanage that they did a runner from. They did a runner from. Tell them what's what. No doubt the place is in an uproar. And as for you, scamps, follow me. Aunt Anivia will tell you all you need to know about your new home. That's what I need to learn some magics. <laughs> Alright. And then we got Captain Odon. Alright. Commander, we've managed to defeat Karamzadah's host. Mm. The remnants of his army have retreated to lick their wounds, and we must use this opportunity to go on the offensive. Mm -hmm. But right now, our army is not fully prepared to begin such an expansion. The farther we advance into the enemy territory, the more we'll need strong and mobile cavalry. I, sup I propose we replenish our forces with light cavalrymen. Mendev could offer us plenty. There are many lone paladins in Galarian, like me, who travel and help the needy. Shall we call them to our aid? Sila. And then Regil. Cavalry is a crucial element of the army. One that's difficult to replace. Mendevian knights often sacrifice their defense in favor of offensive power. And it is time to put an end to this wastefulness. All riders must be encased in heavy cuirassier armor. So as to avoid unnecessary losses. Windowog. Why don't we call the wild raiders from the western steppes? They're descendants of fleeing Sarkorians, and they hate demons for destroying their homeland. <laughs> A promise of vengeance and loot is all it would take for their tribes to join us. Greybor. In my long and productive life, I've taken assignments involving knights, nomads, and other targets who enjoy prancing about on horses. And let me tell you, the hardest of those targets were hedge knights. They are true dogs of war who don't have a homeland. But they do have but what they do have is experience and a sharp blade. If you need cavalry, I say they're your guys. Ooh. Alright. I want to hear the opinions of my advisors in more detail, basically. Everyone looks at you expectantly. Sila, what advantages do the palad do paladins offer? I would recommend to go for Greybor's idea. Yeah, I agree. Okay, Nero. 
But like, I still want to hear. I still want to hear everybody's Phoenix opinion. Phoenix strength. All right, the gods have blessed them with strength, protected them against darkness and corruption. They spend their whole lives training and performing good, great deeds. Destroying evil is what they live for, and it's what they do better than anyone. Windwalk looks as if she's ready to spit on the floor. She hisses through her teeth. You think those do-gooders understand anything about true slaughter? All right. Regil, why do you advocate for cuirassiers? There's a certain breed of fighter who thinks that the glory they win on the battlefield justifies any amount of risk. They may be that might be acceptable for them, but it is not acceptable for the com their commanding officers. Wasting cavalry and daring attacks only saps the strength of our own army. We must see to it that all riders are equipped with the best armor. The kind that will provide the highest chance of survival on the battlefield. I would also advise against recruiting any glory seekers or protectors of high ideals to serve as our cavalry. For the, affirmation, for the aforementioned reasons. Captain... Captain Odan prims his lips and says forcefully, The riders of Mendev aren't accustomed to fearing for their hides. Your demands, Rejo, may lead them to believe that you don't trust them, or, even worse, suspect them of cowardice. <laughs> Graybor, what makes Hedge Knight so good in, ba in a battle? I once had a contract to kill a highborn baron, a famed warrior, Never went anywhere without an escort. So I prepared an ambush for his entourage on the wildest on the forest road, in the dark. The screams of that baron when he and his horse fell into the spiked pit, and above him, there was a slaughter going on. I showed myself, split open the head of the nearest guard, and darted into the bushes. They followed right. Or they followed right into the, my traps. Crossbows, wooden stakes sticking out of the ground, all sorts of things. Arrows flying about, everyone shouting. They made such a racket they scared themselves. They thought they'd been hit by a whole gang of assailants. In any case, the knight who served the Baron because of their oath got the jitters and bolted. Even his kin. But the two hedge knights he hired f fought like wild beasts. Those were worthy opponents indeed. It's simple. They know that if they don't win, they don't get a single coin. Hedge knights are seasoned folk. They've been around. Dangerous too. They fight for victory and gold, not for honor or glory. They don't care if their tactics are cheap. If they can kill the enemy, they will. And Sila says, I doubt the people you've described even have the right to call themselves knights. I'm not keen on fighting side by side with someone who sees the Crusades as a chance to make a fortune. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. Windwalk, who are these raiders from the steppes and how did you learn about them? I heard about them from, uh, well, he called himself a horse trader, but I quickly realized he was just a common horse thief. His goods were worth a look, though, and the trader himself was interesting, brash, sinewy, his eyes fearless. He had clearly come from a hardy people. I wanted to find out where, they, where to find people like him, so I asked him about his homeland. When Sarkoris fell, many barbarians fled to the west, onto the steppes. The land is barren there. Life is miserable. And one has to roam, stopping at nothing to survive. Including robbery. Be it from, be it a, from a stranger or your neighbor. That is how the barbarians have lived, generation after generation. And their harsh struggle has purged all the cowardice of their forefathers from their blood. 
They are now a people of sa savage raiders or savage riders, ruthless robbers, and skilled masters of survival. Raids have become their main trade, and the most respected warriors among them are those who return from battle with a, with the most loot. Mm. If you become their leader, my lord, some of those trophies will be yours. Mm. And Rachel says, and the success of our campaign will depend on them. It's possible that we're better off not using cavalry at all than asking for their services. Captain Odon, what are the benefits of light cavalry? Light cavalry may, may be inferior to knights as far as equipment and quality goes. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Firstly, the lightness of the armor gives them maneuverability. And secondly, many noble offspring who have, ba who have battle skills and a fast horse but can't afford expensive armor will gladly answer our call, eager to earn glory with their feats. And Gregor says, So long as they don't flee the battlefield first on those very same fast horses, they're lovers of glory and easy victories. All right. Everything is clear to me now. The advisor's not respectfully in response to your words. All right, let's see. Paladins. The main stables provide week weekly recruitment growth for paladins. Cavalry capable of healing allies. All mounted scouts will be promoted to paladins. Let's see, the Corsairs... See, well protected, tenacious cavalry. All right. The hedge knights. Effective shock cavalry is the term. <laughs> the raiders are raiders. I mean, I didn't get the convicts, I didn't get the bandits. <laughs> I'm not getting the all raiders. chaos. It's like all criminals. <laughs> All right, and then They're all hungry. last is the light cavalry, light arm but maneuverable, and fast cavalry. I kind of don't need that. Like it doesn't matter if you can quickly run up to the thing that's going to kill you if you don't have a lot of armor. If this wasn't a turn-based game, I, I'd suggest it, but it is, so that's bad. So I guess we'll go for, I guess the uh, hedge knights, like Niall suggested. What do you think? Sound good? Graybor? Says what you want. It actually shows what you get, right? Nah, not exactly. It says Hedge Knights, but I don't see anything. Oh, wait. No, I, I can't. Okay. Hedge Knights. They have the ability of Critical Strike. Pardon. Compared to all the other ones. All the other guys? Let's find out. Great. We get resources back every time we use them in the battle. Yeah, basically, the ability a 20% chance to crit. Alright, let's see what else we got. The Paladins. The heal. Lay on hands, smite evil. Basically like the clerics. And the flavor text is an error. Is an error code. Unknown. Whoa. Is unknown key. Yeah. E5. So, fuck this. Oh. They, did, they didn't even code this in right. <laughs> so paladins are clearly out. Corsairs. What we got? They got damage reduction. And all physical attacks. Hmm. Damage reduction three. Uh, running running away shield. All right. Next we have the raiders. Spoil. 
Mm. Unit provides 350 finance points after destroying All an right. enemy unit. Resources! These rugged nomads of the steppes draw their first and last breath in the saddle. Harsh living conditions and endless battles with neighboring tribes have honed their fighting skills to perfection and taught them not to leave any valuable loot behind. Their chaotic evil. The paladins are obviously lawful good. The corsair is probably lawful. Yep, lawful neutral. The hedge knights are chaotic neutral. And the light cavalry are lawful neutral. Okay. In my opinion, paladins are good but too expensive, and the rest has just equal armor or worse, but can't put out the damage the hedge knights do. Oh. Well, I'm not really seeing anything that the light cavalry do. They have less HP. A hundred less HP than some of the other units. That's that's not good. All right, so the hedge knights it is. All right, these people may not have given any oaths or solemnly sworn to their to their loyalty, but they fight far better than most. All right, Captain Wildon. Well with that, this military this meeting of the military council is adjourned. I will brief the officers on the expected reinforcements immediately and see to it that our available stables are expanded and properly refitted. I don't even think you even added the mercenary uh, house. Either. No, I did. Oh, okay. At least I think I did. Is there? Yeah. Again, I think I did anyway. Okay. Check the <laughs> Here's hoping these hedge knights do pretty damn good. Alright. Glory to the heroes. Yeah, the crusade thing is done. Alright. What do we got? In the commander we trust. Swindlers have started a rumor that the commander is a saint. And gullible soldiers are now buying their charms that allegedly contain his hair, cut nails, and oh. other holy relics. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did this. You did this I, Like, somebody came up and asked me if I'd be willing to give them some fingernails for, like, 50 gold. And I was like, sure. <laughs> I think Anivia asked me if, I, if I'd breathe on a rock for her. <laughs> We gotta go check it down, or get get the reward. <laughs> Where's that money going, James? Don't go Let's to me. See. So what do we do? We can punish the con artist, lawful, 3,500 well, yeah, leadership. Get that money. Leave the con artist be. Incre increase crusader morale by 20. I didn't choose the path of the angels, so that one's off. And last is manufacture charms bearing the crusade, the commander's image. And crusade themed merchandise. Oh, that's beautiful! Chaotic. Unlocks the buy a cloak, support the crusade decree. Yeah, that. <laughs> I should get them more. <laughs> Alright. Wolgif will arrange the manufacturing of crusader merchandise and goods Amen. with the commander's image. Yo. Soldiers and common Mendevians alike will be eager to buy all of it. From Lucky Charms to Travel Mugs. Yes! <laughs> That's yep. fucked up. Yep. I am the savior of this Alright. In our miss, Spies of the Abyss have attempted to infiltrate Dresden to find out the commander's plans. It was only it was only by chance that they were stopped. The, the officers have suggested an increase in security in anticipation of new attempts by the demons. See... All in increase the number of interrogators, which gives us inquisitors. I would kill for an Ivu plushie. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Hey, what is it? you know if you guys fall, oh my god, I could do this. 
I could well I could make a I could make like a, a Zero Dragoon Ivu plushie. No, I think I might be I might be sued by like Pathfinder. No, you just get ass. Huh. Oh shoot, if they're doing anything else. And then if they say DS or wait, then they <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't be too hard to get a plushie. Yeah. But you still gonna ask them first because they own the game. <laughs> Alright. Well moving on. Let's see. Introduce collective responsibility. Introduce collective responsibility. Fifteen hundred leadership points. Deducts 200 military experience points. The next path is unavailable because I'm not a lich. And then the next path, select trustworthy soldiers who will keep an eye on their comrades. Ooh. Unlock senior comrades decree. Cool. I guess that one? Okay. Sila will personally talk to the best among the crusaders and select the most loyal and pure of heart. To look for spies. These warriors will also serve as a model for common soldiers to follow. Let's see. Now, what's the next thing to go for? Um, good, good. All I need to have is good. Not pure of heart. Just good. I guess I can do the strengthening diplomatic connections. I was already told, like, tr uh, first thing to do oh, is in wow. increase, like, the so decrease. Yeah. Or increase the stats. So, increase diplomacy. It'll take a day. All right. The only other thing to do is Defenders of Freedom. Mm -hmm. Three Yama Azadas join. Sure. Everything else literally requires diplomacy. Literally everything else. Why do they put so many different decrees focused only on one single stat? Okay, well, except for... It's mighty. It, it's it, it's because you're supposed to be the. Commander. Oh, okay. No, I have a logistics one. I just don't have enough money for it yet. Oh, it says it. Yeah, I just need more finance points. Hold on, let me buy that. Pretty sure I can afford that. Buy resources, and now I should be able to do it. Outpost Bastion expansion. There. There's a lot of these, apparently. Alright. Commander's Parade. Can't do that because there's another diplomacy thing going on. Alright. I suppose that's everything. Right, now, let's leave and figure out where to go next. Part of the mystery. Is that the only one you want to go to? Oh no, there's the Dragon Burial Ground, of course. Okay. Is that closer? I don't know. I have to check the map. Alright. Move out. Let's go.
All right, who do I put in? Where are you going? Huh? Oh, hold, on, hold on. By the way, do you want to know how to get EXP for your Crusade stats? I thought it was just for decrease, but if there's another way, then sure. Oh, I'm going towards the Dragon Barrier over there. No matter where else I go, I'm going to the Dragon Barrier over there. Go to. Ninio? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I think also, um, the second discount might have seen it. Two before, I guess. I mean, she's in the party already, so. This is only, I think it has only because these are my injuries. Ruins of Ashbury Hamlet. It's close by, so I figured why not. Okay. Play. What's in here? Alright, so far a lot of nothing. Corpulent Spectre. You're a good person. I like you. Am I doing it wrong? Yeah, yeah, shoot him. I won't let you hurt my friends. And it's gone. Alright. Whoa, no. There's more than one. Rift of Ruin. Damn. What did you do to that little girl? Apparently, I told her to attack. So, raise your hell. Three more here. Ancient Sarkorian Ghost. That's only because a lich is fat news. No glory without risk. You should have done All right, this. We took him down. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We will win this war. Yep. This war must end. Let's do some damage control and start healing up. Everybody by but Arusha they got hurt. Her. Yes. There. All right. That's it. Well, we got knowledge world. 
Who's got knowledge well? A success worthy of praise. The burned out husk of a traditional Sarkorian house. No houses like this have been built for a century. Alright. And in here. Just some junk. I lead. You follow. Dead body. Hey, a fancy greatsword. The lustrous blade. Okay. Let's see. What's so fancy about this? Let's see. Plus two mithril enhancements. Okay. Whenever the wielder of this sort lands a hit, enemy makes a fort save DC 15 or is blinded for one round. That sounds cute and all, but. Shiny sword! Essentially. Of this that's shiny bright that's it? There's nothing else here? Well, you can always sell it. Ah. <sighs> yep, looks like that's about it. A great sword that can blind people isn't bad. It's just that it's a plus two weapon. So it's clearly outclassed in every other way. Plus it's reliant on the enemy, you know, first getting hit and then failing a fortitude save. Got weird dead. Essentially. Well, that's enough of that place. Now, what else do we have? Your blind death. We have the dark. Ashen Grotto, the Temple of the Good Hunt. I never actually went in there yet. I already went there. There's Grimwood, Black Water, Ivory Sanctum, Core Core of the Riddle, Heart of Mystery. Where's the dragon burial ground? See. Primitive altar. Shrine of sacrilege. So where's? So I gotta find the dragon burial ground, and I guess that's. Is it near the? Silver Dragon's place? No, I checked there. It's not near Terendula's lair. Plus, the guy, uh, the heart of mystery is. I actually have to get past the demon fort before I can go there. Oh, you see your your army? Where the where is it? Okay, found it. It's way up near the top of the map. I have to get past, I think, maybe two different, two different armies. All right, well, what do we got here? Bando swords. Jeez. Used to have over 70 scouts. Now they only make up 14 hedge knights. Though the Hedge Knight's got a pretty damn cool, like, fucking helmet, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't afford them after I spent all that money. Right. Gotta have these guys move down to join up with... The one army. They're at a strength of eight, so they can actually take on this one fort. 
so let's see if I can unlock the heart of mystery of course I save but hey now I don't know no if you hurt me or not but I did say yes I would like to know how to oh oh wait wait no my unit survived a uh, you actually did survive a scorching ray from the enemy general. Okay. Magic resistance. It does work, people. Let's see here. Let's blow up the babao. Okay, didn't do enough damage. The headhunters will take him down now. Alright. Enemy scouts. They focus fire at my headhunters. Let me, let me see if I can do something about this. I didn't see they had archers. I wasn't paying attention. Since the archers will go after him first, let's kill these guys off. Shoot him down. Alright, didn't shoot them all down, but there's only one. So it couldn't do enough damage. And it died after that. I don't know why. Move the Hell Knights up and start attacking. I guess either the Babals or the Mounted Scouts. Kill the Mounted Scouts. Smite Evil. On. Yeah, Spearman, Brimorax, Drachni, and Cultus. No. Yeah, Smite Evil on. The mouse, and then lay on hands, heal the headhunters before they get focus fired into oblivion. Champions try to cut down all the scouts. They're really trying to focus fire that goddamn headhunter. Shit. Alright, cure wounds on the head, Hunter. Let's see here. Not sure what to go after. The cultists, the Durachni, the Grimorax, none of these are ranged. I guess the Durachni? Ah, shit. Alright, um... Kill the Durachni. The AoE stun they have is gonna be a pain. Kill others, kill the headhunters since they're so damn focused on killing them. Champions kill off the Drachni. Alright, good job. No! Oh my god! The cultist came in and one shot my champion unit. Whoa! I just, I just saw, like, okay, the um text speech that shows me what happens. Like, it tells me how much an enemy unit deals damage and so on. 
Yeah, it covered it up, but like apparently there's over 500 of those. So, there's a lot. This army is big. So, it's a lot to keep track of. First, I really gotta kill the enemy archers. And shoot them down. Alright, they're dead. Moving on. Let's see. Let's move up and kill the Babaos. See. But when you kill the Babao, it also does damage. Not like when you hit. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yes. That is an accurate that is an accurate memory you have. Right. Scorching ray on the cultists. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to think. I don't really think I can actually do this. What's wrong now? I'm just too heavily outnumbered. Don't you got a general that shoots magic? No, no, like, the, the general shoots magic. It's just not enough damage. Too many targets. Too little damage I can dole out. Alright, the cultists didn't kill the Hell Knights. They're still trying to kill off all the... All the headhunters, so I'm going to use cure wounds on them. Okay. Still suffering an awful lot of losses. Let's see here. The scouts aren't doing enough damage. Oh. Kill off some cultists. There's 500 of these, so let's see if I can lower that number. The headhunters are doing a shit ton of damage. Alright, um, let's see here. I do. Hunt down the spearmen, the cultists. The Drachni or the Bremerax. The cultists! Yeah, they have that stupid AoE ability. And the more of them I leave alone, the more damage they're gonna do. I'll have the I'll have my clerics heal themselves up and run up and take a smack at the cultists again. Then I'll have the champions take take another chunk out of the cultists, and they there wasn't enough of them to kill anything. Ah, but they took out. I didn't heal my. I didn't heal the guy in time. I could have healed him. I just didn't. All right, this this was just misplay on my end. Okay. Right, I'm gonna try this one last time. If I can't do it, then I'm just gonna try to load it back onto the map.
Let's see if I can get away and take him down with just fire scorching ray. Probably not. Kill. And let's see. Champions will take another swing at the summon because it does AoE damage. Fuck. Alright, that's it. I'm done. What? They wiped out the moon? Yeah, they killed it again. It's like it's like I could win if I had more numbers. That's it. I'm just Up and over. We're trying to get to the Dragon Burial. I don't know what that's like. I was the most desirable woman in my tribe. But I do know what it's like to have to hide your rage. You don't have to pretend with me. They call me a freak, but they're really just scared because I'm different. How can I be angry at people who are scared? <laughs> Damn, even Windowlock tries to make her feel better. Jesus. Everybody likes Ember. It's just a kid. It's just a kid. Even, it's just a kid. Even, you're just a kid. I'm not going to destroy. I was already destroyed. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who? He was One destroyed. More day, and I'm still alive. Everyone dies. Even get sick. Why is that? Says so your blessing. Yeah, it's like being a, like like paladins. They don't get sick either. Good for them. Must be nice. Except for what that house. Even paladin. Uh, can I even tell my other armies to like pick a fight with something weaker? I don't think so. Yeah, no. At the end of the day, I have one really powerful army. And just the one. You gotta send it out to go fight something else that's more at speed. Oh, wait, here we go. This demon army is on, only has set has the power of seven. I should be able to take it out. Oh, please. That's just an illusion. Yeah, we'll find out ne next long rest. I can walk past de demon armies myself because reasons. They don't care about small herds. Ugh. 
And I can't get any further until I get past uh, another fort. God, I hate this. Let's see. The, I can take the mongrel fighters and have them join my dwarf. Okay. Or the, or the students of stone, but only one. Who is guarding the, uh, the students of stone? Huh? Who's generating the students of stone? No one generates any of them. Well, no one's... No one's commanding. Does your mage general have a fireball? No, he's got a scorching ray. That's it. Just a scorching ray. That's right. He's not high level. He doesn't have the magical resources. Let's see. If this guy joins here, he has to rent his army out. Your strength. Doesn't have Strength becomes six. Or if I take out the Mongol fighters and put in the soldiers of sedan. Yeah, it's an army of strength of six. Alright. Um if it's six either way. Mess for battle. Make an additional action after destroying an enemy unit. Holy shit, let's get the Mongols. What do, the, what do the students of stone do? Let's see. They just have damage reduction. And they're shields. No. Yeah, that, that 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 ain't much. I need this. This'll this'll turn tides of battle. Alright. See what happens. Who are you banning on that? Just to get to your next one? Yep. I gotta take out one demon fort or another before I can do anything. Trust you. Hey. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was chatting with a friend. what I miss? Did you hit second base with Camellia yet? Mm. No! Not no! Shut up. Not in this playthrough. Shut up. It's not in the stars! Uh. He didn't like our Bloody Mary. Fucking hell. But he certainly was screaming about it. Shut up. <laughs> this is terrible. It was the most terrible... Bloody victory! It was a horrible... Unforeseeable, <laughs> shocking <laughs> development. Bloody hell! Yeah, it's a bloody hell, all right. You no, know, I actually am like repeatedly getting these azadas. Without any forces, or without a general, this one force here has an army strength of five. I'm not. The only thing that it's really gaining are Zadas. So. <laughs> oh, wow. That's all you bring in. Cool. Who's right. who the general for them? I didn't give them one. Oh, like, right. I wound up getting, like, a bunch of people that were wanted to recruit into the army, but I only have, like, three generals. I couldn't afford to get any more. Or who are you going to give the Zadas to? Don't know, but I keep getting the whole defend the realm decree that lets me just recruit them. Okay. Camellia doesn't know second base. The girl goes all in. Yeah. Uh. Well, he doesn't know that. What do you mean I don't know that? She wanted to kill. She wanted to kill the guy and then do a ritual. I'm like, no, this stops. But what's the ritual? Yeah, stop it. And then fuck right out. You're bullshitting. Nope. 
If you're not, don't tell me. <laughs> like, <laughs> lie to me, people. At least, like, let her, let her have yeah. some dignity left in my imagination of her. Let's share in his blood, my lord. She's already pretty fucking terrible. Drink to, a, drink to uh, our victory. God damn it. <laughs> it's like the only women you can be with in this game is a monster. Either within or without. They're monsters. That's not true. Okay, succubus are monsters. No, when, they're not. Windowog has spider legs soul. growing out of her back. Mr. That, that ain't normal. Soul. Touch one and die. They are monsters. Mm. <laughs> Closest to not a monster now would be Golfrey. And she's technically an immortal. Nope. Alright, well, immortal. speaking of monsters, we'll go for the transforming the soldiers like into board. warriors of the device. What you doing now? You doing that? You accept? Yeah, I accept. All right. Finally, he's done it. He made cyber soldiers. Well, it takes apparently five days, but yes. We will be blessed with cyber senior soldiers. comrades. Right, right. That that little decree. A thousand leadership points of experience, and then. 30 crusade points. Hmm. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Is that it now? Aru got monster-like wings, but she could fly you to heaven, maybe, if you ask nicely. Really? Mm -hmm. Why does everybody have pickup lines that would be that yeah! would make Aru seem appealing? Like, God damn it. Plus, I already talked to her. She told me what happens if you get involved with Succubus. You will just die. No, you don't. Okay, in her words... She lied to she, you! I'll, I'll believe her. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's done it too many times so, with other people. So who are you going to pursue now that you have every option available? Yo! I see how Wendy looks at you. Uh, again, Queen Golfrey, pretty much. If she's available, if she's not, then my character is going. <laughs> it's doomed. And Windu is guaranteed to st to be still young and tight. Wow, mm -hmm. that's yeah. I guess true, but again, we've had this discussion. Like, isn't she like really young? Like no. really, really young? Nineteen. She does all that and she's 19? Yeah. Damn. Now you know it's oh, a fantasy and game. She's now become. Uh, she's got more vigorous because of her demonic aspiration to the I game. can't go here. So she'll definitely live longer than any other uh, Mongol. Alright, where do I go? She's now part demon. Where do I go? I guess I can go over. Nope, not here. Enemy army of eight. Fucking hell. So she's got demon regeneration. All right, let's see. I guess I can go over here. But so, so does a spider. Let's see. And Windu is guaranteed. Oh, right. No, I read that right. Shit. Fucking hell. Okay. That's right. It's picking it up. It's subliminal. I say it a lot, but still. You know, whispering it doesn't make it like the choice I'm gonna go for. It just makes Windowall. you creepy. Stop being creepy. Shut up. Windowall. The name is Windowall. Hmm. Let's see, be careful, Windu get, got a taste for human flesh. Now that I think about it, that could work in your favor. No. Okay. So it's like, Windu and Aru are pretty much the, o the only real choices here, apparently. I mean, if you ever wonder what it's like to climb on walls, she can definitely get you there. Bruh. <laughs> oh, yeah! She can pick you up! Yo. And put you down. Yeah, I, I'm worried about the put down part. That's the issue here. Upside down. 
Yeah. And I think she'll kill me. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a spider cat. <laughs> yeah. I, dead is dead. That's still no. <laughs> What is that? What is that song? There's a there's a monster girl rap. <laughs> it's like oh, wow. apparently, whoever made this fucking script and wrote these characters was listening to that. Closest thing to a normal human is a psychotic mass murdering. <laughs> God, <laughs> God damn it! Hmm. That's oh, who does some shit like that? Bloody Marys for everyone. I wonder if people actually went with Camilla after finding out she's psychotic. Yes! That's real fucked up. She mellows out if you go Just with Just think of it like tentacles. <laughs> oh. She mellows out if you do. I don't care. No, man. No. That, that is wrong. In so many other ways. Uh, but you can guide her through her madness. Yeah, yeah no, man. She bad. Nah, she just misunderstood. You can help her. I did in my you evil can run. Save her. Okay, no, huh? And they all said he did in his evil run. Oh wait, no, I don't have a mercenary thing. I got a military academy. Uh oh, that means he killed her. Huh? Oh. You killed you killed her in your evil run. I don't know how you piece that together. Oh, mercenary guild. Yeah, okay. I can I can indeed build a mercenary guild. You mean you didn't? Apparently not. The teleportation circle, supply center, sanct two sanctuaries, military academy, and Pathfinder Society lots took took precedence. Along with the main barracks, training grounds. Yeah, uh, there was other stuff to build, apparently. What does this do? Uh, mercenary guild increases the number of available mercenary units by one. Only one mercenary guild can be built in each fort. So, build that. That's okay if you're not using no mercenaries. No, I do. Like, the Hell Knights are mercenaries. Really like them. Okay. Alright. Let's see. What else is there to build? Market, shelter, hospital, hall of glory. Let's see. Reduces the cost of recruiting mercenary units by 5%. Oh, okay. Yeah, build that. Just making shit easy for me. Uh huh. Windowog won't kill you. She's a loyal little dog. Yep. She'll, e she'll even bark if you ask her to. Is, and since she's part cat, you know she will lick you clean everywhere. Wink, wink. <laughs> you guys play a lot of dating sims or something? <laughs> like, where all these pickup lines come from? <laughs> it's like you guys had these stored, ready. Like, like, ready and, well, yeah. ready and locked in. <laughs> At this point, like, how colorful you guys are being. He's like, what? Well, <laughs> Like, you got a team of professional writers helping you. <laughs> or is it like, nope, you just always do. <laughs> so For I, the win! My, 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 all. all my followers and my bro are Monster Girl fans. Got, got it. And and why wouldn't you be? The only human one was a psycho. <laughs> so there's no real reason not she to. She was a monster too. Yeah, she's a monster in all the wrong ways. <laughs> God damn it. Bloody murder. Ah, oh, man. You could've joined her! I'm not evil. It's not evil! I'm not even psychotic. It's natural. I'm not even a little crazy. And I don't go for crazy. Yes, you can. I can. That doesn't mean I will. Freedom! Horrible, horrible freedom! Shut up. <laughs> Aren't you free? Right. Well, there's still the queen. Yep, yeah. I'm pretty much going for the queen. Here's hoping... She's not secretly a devil or some other fucked up shit. You could even go for the Queen's double. She doesn't no. even care. No, that 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 just sounds messed up. You can even just use her as a. That's why you should have been evil. Yeah. <laughs> evil, evil rules apparently. <laughs> In some cases. 
Ugh. All right, there's nothing really for me to do, so I'm just gonna hit skip day. And let's see, these, let's get some fights underway. See if I can expand where I can travel and get to the get to the dragon burial grounds. God, there's so many forts in the way. You gotta beat that and then beat it again, right? All right, let's see what I gotta beat exactly. The Crusader army led by my dwarf. We'll see its first round of combat. Oh, shit. What's he got? He's got mongrels. That's it? And not enough movement, so. Ooh. Yeah, Alright, but the second crusader army is right in front of another one, so let's see what let's see what happens. The dwarves are gonna win, right? Well, no, no, the dwarves didn't have enough movement to see combat, so I'm going to fight this uh, two giant flies and a horde of zombies. Oh shit! So let's kill the one, let's kill one horde of zombies with a flame thing. Uh, zombies are pretty tough. This might be a this might be a problem. Excellent. Shoot down the flies. Try shooting down the flies again. Yeah, we might we might be in a lot of trouble here. Run over and take a swing at the flies. Oh, sweet. Take another swing at the flies. Use Smite Evil and just move up. Champions move up. Alright, let's see here. Alright, those that group of flies is doomed. Let's go after the next one. Take a shot at this group of giant flies. Headhunters, take out the, this group. And it can attack again. Alright, go after the second group of giant flies. Because they have way more speed, so they're a bigger threat. All hunters attack. Right. Clerics attack. And champions, go up and wipe them out. Alright, the zombies only get one. Alright, the zombies are pretty freaking weak. Alright, this is great. Alright, uh, let's see. Just... What do we got here? Heroic Ballad... This just buffs everybody? Yeah. Alright, we'll just kill this one unit down here. Oh, sweet. Now only gives one damage, only two. Kill up the pallet, one of the Hell Knights. Alright. Self heal, and then attack. Then champions take out this unit. And then they get to another attack. Sweet. Alright, it's it's a done deal. Just, just regretting my choices. I was so fucking sure that she Bullshit. was good. 
Sasha was there. I everybody was just hating on her because she's a noble. Ah, I kept making excuses for every step of the way. Fucking hell. You were helping her bloody murder. Yeah, I, had, I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, I still... I gained as many Hell Knights as I lost from the infirmary. So, that fight went well. What do we got for it? Crusaders closely examined the remains of the miners, caravan, that ventured too far north in its reckless search of profit. They collected a lot of rare and expensive wares, but were never able but were never to return to their homeland. 150 material points. Ooh. Poor guys. Alright, let's see. Go down. Go down. Go forward. Petrified Traveler. Okay. Up. Legacy of the Ancients. Ooh. Man, this yeah, army's finding a whole lot. Well, you know you gotta go there. Yeah, I have to go there. This is essentially just scouting at this point. Alright. And to sleep with Windowog ne next time she asks, What have you got to lose? She's not gonna lay eggs under your skin. Okay. And they all chimes in. You could have seen it before, by the way. If you want to multi-class, Camilla, all good restricted classes are unavailable for her. Not to mention her creepy comments all the time. Thank you! Everybody says something Thank about... Thank you! Hey, it shut up. Everyone crazy. says something about g killing their enemies and laying them out. <laughs> That's not a good one. Let's see. We avoided telling... Uh, um, that to not spoil them. I do appreciate that you guys did it spoil. <laughs> I do appreciate that. As painful as the revelation is. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thank you, Hawk. Still sucks. <laughs> she fucked up. Alright. Before I go any further, uh, I skipped a few days already, so that means some of these decrees are. Already set. I thought. Oh. I guess not. Oh, no. Never mind. They were all set up for like. Five days. Yeah, so. Never mind. Not a day. You only did two. Like all right. Five days, right? Well, then I'll just say skip day. We're at that point in the game. All right. So, first things first, I can recruit new units. Okay. I can now recruit the church guards. Mm. I, not yet, though, apparently. I gotta build... Maybe I gotta build something? Yeah, a temple. Oh. Okay. I got no problem with that. It's just okay. Alright, before that, though, uh, recruit more clerics. You can never have more clerics. If you have to choose between clerics, mongrels, and spearmen, choose clerics. Next up, uh, it's a choice between spearmen and mongrels, and I'm choosing the mongrels. I am now tapped out of finance points, but that's okay. Let's see here. Who has clerics? You have clerics. So this army is going to go run over past you, straight to you, and give you the clerics. Then it's going to try to join up with the, the dwarf. Whenever it can get there. Alright, aside. Yeah, there's nothing else to really worry about in recruiting. Alright. You can build 
main caster lodge now in Dresden. Oh, uh, sure. Manage. Build. Alchemist Laboratory. Apocryphary. Citadel. Hall of Strategy. Main Spellcaster Lodge. That's what you meant? Yeah, yeah. Spellcaster Lodge. Just short for Caster Lodge. Alright, I'm short finance points and money, but technically I have both. Maybe not. So I need 850. Oh, wait, no, I don't think I can afford that. I can buy roughly 700. And I'll be good to go there. But then I need there's 750 in built material. Yeah, I can't, even if I spent through all my money for finance points, I still couldn't build it. So I'll just ha yeah, I'll just have to wait. So basically we're going to try to get to the Dragon Burial Ground. We're going to find something worth selling. It's a Dragon Burial Ground. Okay. It should be. Come on. With a title Dragon Burial Ground, you got to find something that's worth money. Alright, we're gonna go down to fight the, the demon fort with mongrels, barbarians, spearmen, and whatever my other unit was. I think it was headhunters or something. No, barbarian. Yeah, headhunters. Alright, so what can this dwarf do? Defensive formation. All units in a 3x3 three three area. Gain a bonus to AC and a penalty to attack. Well, so we got heroic ballot and dispersal dispersal of forces. Damn, you should have all the infant, the all, Yeah, all infantry ranged or cavalry units receive a plus one. Plus the general's level divided by six bonus to attack saving throws for three rounds. Oh, damn. Yeah, I literally built the wrong army for this guy. Alright. You are toast. Yeah, we need tail hunters, archers. I have to fight Rangers. 55 incubi and 555 cultists with one Woo! incubus general. Oh well, shit, you're done. Yeah, no, no, no. You just want to just sacrifice the units and just kill you. Yeah, the incubi can self destruct. This sucks. Shoot the incubi. Alright. It's over! Yeah, just run up. Run up, barbarian. Run up, spearman. Like, just blindly charge. Go, go get them, mongrels. What happens? Oh, the scorching ray didn't kill us. Yeah, we're, we're good. I just have no healing to speak of. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm fucked. <laughs> Gotta wipe this on me. Oh, man, there's not enough room to run around. Go down. They're all down except for the cultists. Uh, yeah, no. Hello? Hey, yeah, that was... You, they you got, gave the right general. Yeah, they got I'm blown just, out. Mm. And the general said, Alright, what are you good with? None of the units you gave me. Yeah, none of... I need to give him, like, a lot... All the infantry guys. This guy, this guy literally has the entirely wrong army to try to fight with. 
I didn't even bother looking at his abilities right. So I don't know what to properly use him with, so he's got to go. You taking him out? Well, I'm putting him back, or I'm putting him back in town. Like, I'll figure out how to, I'll like, redistribute his forces later. But right now, none of his forces are worth anything. Meanwhile, in exchange for the mark, I'm going to trade out the marksmen from my one spellcaster's army and replace them with all those Azada. Because I only had like nine, I only had like ten marksmen. Yeah. But since I didn't build on that, I couldn't recruit more than them. So, we're just going to swap. Alright, you're going to the generals while those guys are going for that. Yep. Spellcaster! For the Northcaster. And so now it's an. It's still an arm. Oh no, it's an army strength of six now. So that's something. Let's, let's see how he does. Marksmen are, you, marksmen are the strongest unit in the game. Are you sure? I only have 10 of them. So yeah, I'm sure. If I could recruit more than just 10, then yeah, I would. But I can't. So I don't. And so here we are. What do churchgoers do? Dispel an aura of onslaught. Alright. Meanwhile, this guy cannot fight. Oh, no, no. He can fight. Let's have him fight uh, a few of these demon armies here. Power up and just clear out the rest of this side of the map. It's a bunch of water elementals. I'm not sure how decent this will go or how much I'm screwed, but let's find out. Go. Let's see. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have my Hell Knights run up because I really don't want to try to fight. Have these guys on top of all my ranged units. Right. Let's see here. I guess shoot a f yeah, shoot a f scorching ray. Shoot. And the headhunters take another toss at them. All right. It's one down. We'll run up with the Hell Knights, take a swing. Clerics run up, take a swing. And we did two damage, kill two, kill three units. All right, the only one who took a lot of damage was the champion. All right, I should be fine. I should be able to handle this. This is fine. So far, so good. So, really the only focus is heal the, heal the champions. This is, this is working out just fine. Once we take out the second unit, this will be pretty much a done deal. Go self, take swing. Three thirty eight. Alright. Finish off the second group of water elementals. Heal up heal up the Hell Knights. Now the last two groups. Yeah, this one this one this fight's been okay.
I'm gonna keep them capped up, so just in case. 246. Okay. Alright, yep. Took out four groups of water elementals, no problem. Let's see, heal others. Heal up the Hell Knights. Alright, we're good. Sniffle. All right. The Crusaders see a tiny but magnificent mountain lake filled with clear cold water. Even demons couldn't disturb its peace and were chased away by powerful water elementals. This remote site is obviously the source of water, or the source of water power, blessed by spirits of the plane of water. Daily income increase for four energy points. Cool. Overall, so far so good. Let's take out this other demon army too. Of course, we're actually getting at that time, so we're gonna call it after this fight. Rift Drakes. 200 cultists, 200 cultists. Honestly, shouldn't be too bad. Let me see. Does this hurt the damn thing? Yes, it does. Okay. Kill the Drake first. Goes nearly full screen. Oh. It doesn't just go full screen. It shoots a fucking AoE blast. Right, let's heal up the rangers. Ooh, barely hit him. Speaking of getting hit, the cultists are handing a lot of damage. We'll run past the cultists, deal with the drake. Shoot. No oh, shit. Now there's only one. There's only one headhunter left in the whole unit. Needless to say, heal. This is looking pretty bad. Okay. Heal up.
Yeah, it seems real. Like, the computer seems to really like going after the headhunters more than anything else. Run over here, take a swing at this. Can't turn up. All right. Take out this unit of cultists. Now go after the Rift Drake. Scorching Ray. All right, cultists, shoot them. Take out this group of cultists here. Ah, I'm not, my clerics have a feeling. At least he's been double sling. Alright. There's too few of them to do any real damage now. Alright. Maybe make you explode. Alright, so I gotta do damage control, heal up the champions. Now claim that four yep, shoot. Alright, we're gonna actually just defend until I can until I can actually heal these guys up. So they're up to full, more or less. Let's heal up the clerics. All right. Still a lot of losses we're suffering. Heal up all the rangers. All right. In hindsight, I should move away. He's starting to try to self-destruct himself. Heal up the hell knights. Hunters. All right. The infirmary size has been lowered a bit. I think we'll just kill him now. Nah. I'll wait till I get one last heal off on somebody. Um. Let's see. Pull up the champions. Alright, that should be enough. Let's see, what are our losses? Alright, 11 Hell Knights and 3 Clerics and, get, and replenish 11 Hell Knights and 3 Clerics. Alright. That's it. Should be good for now. Did you claim the fort? No, this was all fights just around the fort. All right. The Crusader The Crusaders discovered the secret lair of the cultists who fed the meat of the prisoners to a pack of evil drakes. The brood of monsters is destroyed. They they're covered with rot and mold eggs are broken. Finance points times 200 daily increase. That's it for them. Alright. Thanks everybody who stopped by today.
Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. With, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with more Wrath of the Righteous. Um, and until then, take care.